Uh, Willie O'Rourke is my name and I started to come into work here, it was in 1957. I entered the service on Christmas Eve 1955, so uh, I was just doing my practice from my final examinations that we had to do maybe six to nine months here in the sick ward. My name is Sean Tully. I was a staff nurse here in 1964. I commenced the job in 1963 and I was doing my training. I my finals in 1966. I worked here on the bottom floor in 1964, the summer of 64. That would be the ward now, or dormitory. The ward here now, there, yeah. and one there, and one to the left. Yeah. So there was 84 patients in this bottom ward when I came in first. And there was 60 patients in the second floor, and about 60 in the top floor. Now the staff, I suppose, on the bottom floor would be six, six male nurses. In the middle would be four, and about four. Before you leave here at the front, if you look at the, the trees, the landy trees along here, there was a, where the yellow bushes, was a, there was a fine, um, uh, fine big glass house in it. And there was a patient on the top floor, we just call him Maliki. He organised the gardening down along where Parkmore switch, switch gear is. And uh, there was cabbage and onions and lettuce and it fed half the country for cabbage plants and lettuce, lettuce plants and all that sort of stuff and onions. But all this was self-sufficient in its own right for, for food in that Willie mentioned it earlier on that I didn't do this now but Willie did. Um, brought down patients to the back where they peeled and washed potatoes for, for, for today's dinner or even for, maybe more for tomorrow's dinner than anything else. Just for tomorrow's dinner was done. This was the dining hall here, and the kitchen is just at the back of it. Uh, the, uh, the dining hall here uh, catered for the bottom, for the ambulant patients on the bottom floor. And then when they were finished, uh, they went back to the bottom floor, and the second floor and the top floor came down and they had their dinner. And as Willie said earlier on, Every, most Sundays, nearly every Sunday, there would be a film shown yes. in the big dining hall here. And yeah. the patients would come out from the old building out to here After, and the other buildings. Yeah, yeah out here about three o'clock. That's right. This was, this was open all down, and there was beds this side and that side. The little, little corridor down there. Yeah. There'd be about 20 beds in this ward, ten each side. Now they, they, as I mentioned earlier on, they would be the more ill patients. And the most ill would be here, this corner here. They've been um, known as the observation ward. That's right. Somebody, some nurse had to be here at all times. Yeah. The other thing about here, uh, Donna, is that all this area was a paracrete floors. And they were beautiful. Yeah. They're here on the outside corridor as well. And yeah, again, that type of floor. Yeah, I referred to the polishing earlier on, which we won't go into. Yeah. But what I am saying is that this was partitioned, I'd say late 70s, early 80s, uh, in order to, to have the privacy of patients enhanced. That was the general intention, but I think it didn't do justice to the building. Uh, if you look over the veranda here, that was the last veranda in its time, in the 60s, uh, with a... Uh, reinforced glass and it was lovely and we used to push out the beds in the summertime or fine days like today and make a bit of room and a bit of space inside. That was the corner where the lightning hit it one day. Up here? Yeah. You see the top of that corner? Yeah sure it's broken. Yeah. Is, it, is it broke on the And has it changed much? Have you, Mike? Hey. Has it changed a lot? Obviously, it hasn't because you're still able to recognise. Well, then, there. when you look at it from outside, which well, the inside is completely. It's all mine. Oh, you wouldn't know where you're going. Yeah. So.